guys and welcome to another Whitney's Wonders. So today I have another 90s collection video for you. I don't know why I feel like being singy today. But uh, yeah, so we got another 90s collection video for you guys. I have compiled four more items to show you guys. You're probably thinking, where do I keep all this stuff? Don't talk to Kyle about it because he would tell you where it's all kept and it's all out in the open. I've got tons of stuff. Still have more stuff to showcase, actually. I know you're probably thinking, when's it going to run out? But every time I think it comes to the end, I end up buying more things. <laughs> That's just what I do. That's how I spend my time and spend my money. That's how I live my life, and I love it. So the first item I'm going to show you today is, of course, a Fisher Price item. Usually have at least one per video. I think this might be the last, though. This might be the Fisher Price be all end all one until I buy more if I find something I am looking to see if I can get the Fisher Price uh, car garage so if you have that or know anybody who has it wants to sell it let me know because I am looking for it it used to have the it was the garage and then you could bring the cars down the side elevator and it would ding so I have seen some on eBay but they're going for hundreds of dollars actually so I'm not really open to spending hundreds of dollars on that right now but who knows in the future, maybe I will. Don't listen, Mom. <laughs> okay, so we've got another Fisher-Price medical kit. I have the other black bag, one that I've shown in another video. This is a different Fisher-Price medical kit. This one actually had a whole bunch of stuff in it as well. So it actually had a little um, blood pressure thing you could do here where you could actually put it on your little arm and it blows uh, air out of it. Just like... And then that thing would go around and around. So that was cool. Um, has a little thermometer in here, or what do you call them, temperature thing? Yeah, like that. A syringe. This would be to check out your ears, I believe. And then this thing, I think, is the thing they used to hit on your knee or whatever. See if you had your reflexes. A little prescription bottle. And of course, if you're going to be a doctor, you need a stethoscope. And it actually like, it had a little thing on it before they could do it, but like, you can actually hear it through the things pretty good. So I'm Dr. Whitney. So that uh, medical kit came with everything as well, which was really cool. So I have actually both the Fisher Price medical kits. Um, but this one I think was a little older, older than the other one. Um, but still fairly good shape and it has everything in it. And there's Fisher Price all over. Every time I go to close it, everything starts falling out. We gotta get it back in there. There we go. Close her up. And then you carry it like a little briefcase like you're a doctor. Fisher Price had everything. They were really getting you ready for the working world, I'd say. <laughs> So the next thing is just a small little item, and a lot of the girls might remember these. Um, I had a ton of them and would go to my friend's house and play with them. And I, they are still making these things today. Um, obviously, they're not as good quality as they were back then. But it is the My Little Ponies. So I have this little pink one, and you could brush their hair. And they always had little things on the side. Of, I don't know if that was what their names were. I can't honestly remember. But I think maybe... Like, if they had that on the side, that's what their names were. But I love pink and blue, and I found a little pony that was pink and blue, so it was perfect for me. So, yeah, My Little Pony was a huge thing back in the 90s. I don't know how much they were, what they went for, but I had a bunch of them along with my Barbies. So, another thing that I have added to the collection. Now, I've done a video on this thing before, but I wanted to actually, like, explain it on camera. So you've probably seen my video on this VTech computer. I had this and absolutely spent hours and loved it. So it would open up like a laptop. And then here you would have the thing. It was called the workbook. So you could literally, like it had, um, you would find the missing letter, mathematics, fractions, geometries, word digs. You'd have to do hodgepodge things, purals, trivia. It would ask you trivia. So let's turn this beach on. So, you would choose your activity. 
So let's do trivia. And then these are the buttons you would press right there. Trivia fun. Choose a subject. So let's see. Why don't we just do one for general? Level one. What country? Oh, I'm done already. Is famous for its water holding dikes. I'll take you a few options. Holland, Belgium, or Amsterdam. Now this is going to be a complete guess because I have absolutely no idea. So you push the button. So let's say um, Amsterdam. Try again. Nope. Let's go Holland. Hooray. Hooray, I got it right. So it looks like a little thing too. And you can change the contrast. You can turn it up. Okay, so let's do one more. What materials did cavemen make? To, oh, what materials did cavemen, cavemen make tools from? Let's see what the options are. Choose Steel, another. rock, or aluminum? I would assuming rock because they didn't have the other two things back in the caveman days. Hooray! Yay! I'm so smart. So, yeah. So, that was just uh, another little game. It looked like a complete laptop, and your kids would absolutely uh, be able to learn from this. It was so cool. I played it all the time, and... Um, the Talking Whiz Kid Notebook was what it was called. Bye. Oh, and then she just goes, bye. And turn it off. And it was by VTech. VTech is still a strong company today. This had a thing as well, so you could carry it. And it takes C batteries, four of them, to charge this thing. They did have um, an adapter, I believe, that you used to be able to charge it with or at least plug it into place so you didn't have to use batteries. But I actually don't have that for this. I think it's... um. You probably could get the adapters actually today with it, maybe. I don't know. So the last thing I'm going to show you is quite a large object, so I'm going to kind of turn the camera to show you here. Um, this is another thing I had when I was a child. <laughs> like I said before in these videos, uh, mom and dad really spoiled us because we had a lot of stuff. So I'm going to turn this so you can kind of see, so you won't see me on the video, but you're going to see the item. So it is... A big house that would like might not even fold out on this thing but yeah you'd fold it out and this thing would come out in the middle and it would and there she is there's the dollhouse all in its glory you'd have like that stuff there the Fisher Price I think this was Fisher Price too actually and then you'd have the little people so I think this was the mom so you could play with her there was a couch down over there um, stairs to get up and it had the front, had beds in it, and um, you could open the fridge down here. But yeah, so it was a complete living house that you could, uh, you know, play with your little Fisher Price people in. I only have that, I think. I don't think there's anything else. Let me see. Oh yeah, there's the dad too. So the mom and the dad that came with it. And then these little chairs and a table they could sit at. And, uh, yeah. So, this was huge. They have doll houses and stuff today. They have all the lights on it and everything lights up. But this was just standard. There was no special things in it. Here's the bed. So, you could have that in your bedroom. But yeah. So, this was another cool item that uh, I had when I was a child. And quite large, actually. To put that away is going to be fun. But, yeah. So, there's another thing you can see full open then it would just you know you'd shut it back up and put it away so I will do that off camera because I'll probably break something <laughs> but yeah so that was another uh 90s collection Whitney's Wonders hope you guys enjoyed it uh I'll keep them coming I've got some more items to show you coming up and I hope you enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe hope your day is well talk to you later and I will say peace